Hi everybody, I'm Boaz Fala and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for November 8th, 2016. Very important 48 hours in front of us. We're going for a solar eclipse at 18.54 degrees off Pisces. This solar eclipse promises to be a very powerful one because it's happening on Chiron uh, in opposition to Jupiter. We're going to talk about it in a second. We are all going to be affected by this solar eclipse. And that depends, how, how we're going to be affected depends on where the solar eclipse falls in our natal chart, in our personal natal chart. But people born in the middle of Pisces, or the middle of Virgo, or the middle of Gemini, or the middle of Sagittarius are going to be affected more than others. Now, a time of uh, an eclipse is a time in which things end and new things start. There are major changes in our lives. It could be emotional changes, it could be social changes, it could be career changes. Again, that depends on which house the eclipse occurs. But it's a, it's a changing phase. It's a time that we take off from one, uh, one uh, strip and, and, and land on a totally different airstrip. So, Time and space don't play out the usual way, the linear way. Major changes could happen in a very small time, in a very, in a very, sorry, in a very short time. And the fact that this solar eclipse occurs on Chiron, the, the wounded healer in your chart, the places in which we feel wounded, places in which we feel hurt for a very long time, maybe since childhood, carrying this pain with us, promises that these 48 hours are a time in which we will be in touch with our pains, in which we will acknowledge the need to tend and care for them again, to heal them again. And the fact that it's in opposition to Jupiter suggests that we are called to learn, to broaden our horizons, to search again for a higher truth that we can identify with and follow in our own lives. This is a great time for you to call back inside, to center yourselves, ourselves, to meditate, to exercise physically, whether it's running, jogging, any physical activity, yoga, just going out to nature, swimming. These are an amazing 48 hours to do that because all of these activities could really flush your energies and recenter you. These are good times to really uh, concentrate on what's inside more than what's outside and prepare yourself for change, positive change in your lives. This solar eclipse would occur at 0 200 hours Central European time, that would mean late tonight and uh, America that would occur in around 2000 hours Eastern Standard Time. So let's talk about the moon, what's happening before the eclipse. Just remember that any solar eclipse is a new moon and remember every new moon we are printing in a sense the energies that we are transmitting for the next lunar cycle. So watch for what you're sending out to the universe today because that flavor would stay for the next lunar cycle. So the moon is in Pisces and it's, <coughs> it's conjuncting Neptune. Its height is, is around uh, 12, 12 noon Central European time. That's around 600 hours in your morning Eastern Standard Time, America. Promising to be a very sensitive day. Uh, prom so if, if you are sensitive and if you are in touch with your pain, um, acknowledge that the, the, the stars acknowledge it. So just put some cotton candy around you and try to pamper yourself today. There's a conjunction to Sirius at around 2100 hours Central European time. That's around 1500 hours Eastern Standard time. Really, again, talking about the need to pamper yourselves and others. But it's, it's happening with a square to Saturn as well. So all this issue, am I uh, able to care for people in my life as they should be cared for? Am I getting enough support for my surroundings, for the care that I'm giving? All these issues are things that we play with today. Again, bringing us to places inside that we feel hurt. Um, 
And just before the eclipse, there's a sextile to Pluto, really making this eclipse even more powerful. So just a day to center yourselves and, and remember the sensitivity and look for the answers from the inside and not from the outside today. And prepare for positive change in all our lives. Thank you for listening and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.